All right, this video we're going to look at solving a equation with square roots in it. Uh, this is example two. Uh, this is the problem I worked in example one. Each problem has its own video, so this would be example one. This is the problem we're going to work in example two. Uh, this will be example three, and this will be example four. So check them all out. Uh, so let's come over here and go to example two. All right, so to solve a, a square root equation, we want to isolate the square root. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. That gives me the square root of 2x plus 15 is equal to x plus 6. So I've got to get rid of the square root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides. Okay. So that's going to give me 2x plus 15 equals, now, square on both sides. So remember this, okay, remember when you square a square root, you get what's underneath the square root. Now square in this, now remember this is x plus 6 times x plus 6. And we'll fold that out. So x times x is x squared, and then we got 6x plus 6x is 12x, and 6 times 6 is 36. All right, so we've got a quadratic equation to solve. So let's get everything to one side. So I'll subtract 2x, and I'll subtract 15. And so that is going to give me, this is 0 over here, equals x squared plus 10x plus, and I'll say, what is that, 21? Okay, well, when I solve a quadratic, I like the quadratic to be over here. So let's rewrite it. So we'll do x squared plus 10x plus 21 equals 0. So now let's see if this thing factors. So if we factor it, so that's x plus 7, x plus 3. So I get x plus 7 equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. So subtract 7 to both sides, I get x equal negative 7. Subtract 3 to both sides, I get x equal negative 3. <clears throat> now, we squared both sides. If you square both sides, or you raise both sides to an to an even power, okay, you have to check your solutions. You have to take each one of these and plug them back into the original equation, okay? Well, actually, if we wanted to, we could plug it back into this one, but it doesn't matter. But you got to make sure if you plug it back into this one, you can't square both sides. Okay, you would have to take the squares off and then just plug it into this. Best thing to do, if you're in doubt, always take it and just plug it back into the original. So let's do that. So let's check our solution over here. So let's check the negative 7. So I've got square root 2 times negative 7 plus 15 and then minus 6. And I need to know, does that equal, well, plug the negative 7 into x, does that equal negative 7? Well, let's see. So 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Negative 14 plus 15 is 1. Minus 6, does that equal negative 7? Well, square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 6 is negative 5, does not equal negative 7. So the x equal negative 7, that does not work. Now let's try the negative 3. So let's plug that in. So I got square root 2 times negative 3 plus 15 minus 6 and I need whoop, and I need to know does that equal the negative 3 that I plug in for x. So let's look at this. So I've got 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6, negative 6 plus 15, 
is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. And so I do get negative 3 equals negative 3. So my solution is x equal negative 3. All right, so I hope the video helped. Check out the other examples. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.